And then people always ask the question, can we get enough protein from plants? And <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know anybody that becomes a vegetarian, it's the first question they get asked. Where do you get your protein? And I love this cartoon by Dan Pissarro. It says, it's this little rodent here asking this huge muscular gorilla, no meat at all? Are you sure you're getting enough protein? <laughs> And, and the point being here that the largest, strongest, most muscular land mammals on the planet are vegetarians. They're, you know, elephants and giraffes and hippopotamuses and these huge gorillas. And they manage to build these huge muscles without any, eating any meat. And probably people can too. Uh, and we look at some of the vegan athletes. Just go to veganbodybuilding.com. It's unbelievable. You see these huge muscles that are, you know, completely 100% vegan. And, uh, and it, it just makes sense. And, and so how much protein do we actually need? Well, the RDA for adults is about 46 grams a day for women, about 56 for men, or about 0.8 grams per kilogram body weight. Uh, children uh, need more athletes and possibly seniors may need as much as 25% more. In Australia, the recommendations for people 70 plus are 25% higher than they are for younger adults. Why? Because our digest the digestibility is reduced as we get older. We're not able to absorb a, a, as many of the amino acids we need. So, and people that are eating whole food plant-based diet because of the fiber and the reduced digestibility of whole plant foods slightly, uh, we increase about 10 protein uh, uh, recommended protein intakes by about 10%. So that would you know, bring us up to about 50 grams for women and about 60 grams or so for men or a little bit more than that. It's still not a lot, especially when you look at how much protein is in foods. So you look at um, you know, soybeans, tofu, so the soy foods or the veggie meats, you're getting about 15 to 30 grams of protein per serving. That's about the same as you get from a serving of meat. Uh, from lentils and, and other legumes, you get about 14 to 18 grams of protein per cup. Uh, from hemp seeds, pumpkin seeds, camu, spelt, uh, wheat, uh, amaranth, quinoa, you get about 8 to 13 uh, grams of protein per serving or per cup of cooked grains, a uh, quarter cup of seeds. And that's about the same as you get from two eggs or a cup of milk or an ounce of cheese. It's not much different. Uh, and then you get some from pretty much every other plant food you're eating as well. But then people say, ah, but even if you can get enough protein, isn't plant protein inferior to animal protein? And the answer is this, no. <laughs> All essential amino acids or what we call indispensable amino acids are actually made by plants. It makes no sense to think we get, can't get them from plants. It's where they come from. You know, animals have all of these amino acids in their muscle tissue. They got it at some point along the food chain from plants. It's where they come from. So we can get plenty of essential amino acids from plants, providing we consume a variety of plant foods over the course of the day, including some protein-rich choices like legumes and seeds and so forth, and sufficient calories are eaten. And for most people, getting sufficient calories is not a huge problem. Uh, step five is to fine tune our fat. So we want to limit quantity to some extent and really focus on quality. We want to limit saturated fat. The dietary guidelines for Americans say less than 10% of calories, but the American Heart Association, the American College of Cardiology guidelines for cardiovascular disease risk reduction are five to 6% of calories. And do you know the percent of Americans that get less than 7% of calories from saturated fat? about 5%. And guess what the average vegan gets? About 4 to 7%. How many vegans are there in, in America? About 5% of the population. So it's the vegans who are actually on target, period. Um, and 5 to 6% of calories means less than 16 grams on a 2,000 calorie diet. So less than 16 grams, well, you get you know, 22 from a couple slices of meat lover's pizza. You get 18 from a, a double cheeseburger, 15 from a six ounce steak, you know, nine from just one ounce of cheese, eight from a cup of milk. And you compare that to the amounts of, of saturated fat in plant foods. You know, 
the, the only one that, that, that's high at all is really coconut, at an ounce of coconut at seven grams, but look at a half an avocado or an ounce of nuts or seeds. It, we're looking at somewhere between you know, half a gram and, and, and two grams for most of these foods. Uh, we want to avoid trans fatty acids. And in 2005, the FDA set a three-year time limit for the removal of trans fats in processed foods. We're there. It's 2018. It's been three years. So this won't be much of a problem, I think, uh, in, in fairly short order. Although 10% of trans does come from animal products, as you probably know.